Hello and uh, welcome back to the third session in this tutorial series creating a simple SQLite database being utilized by an iPhone app. Uh, we're going to first off review lesson one and uh, go through the entity relationship diagram, review primary keys, foreign keys, what a one-to-many relationship is. We'll also touch on data types and why we use certain types of data types. Then we'll get into the fun stuff and we'll create a customer Xcode project that will be a tabbed application. We'll review the app delegate, the views, and the view controller files, and then we'll execute the application in the simulator. Then I'm going to touch on uh, model view controller, the MVC model, and then a little bit more on what the uh, role of the app delegate is in your application. Then in conclusion, we'll touch again on the downloaded solution that you can go ahead and download from GitHub. So first off, let's look at an entity relationship model. I downloaded this open source ER tool um, from the web. Uh, maybe later I'll give you the website, so if you want to use it, you can do the same. But here, you can review back on the uh, SQL, or what we use to create the tables within the customer database. We have two tables for this exercise. One is a contact database with a primary key that's auto-incremented. The ID is an integer, which the data type of integer for uh, primary keys and foreign keys is very important. Uh, integers don't take up as much space as text columns, and they're also faster to retrieve data or do searches on. Again, auto increment on the transaction table. And again, ID is the primary key. And then in the table name is transactions. So you can see here we have two tables for this application. One is contact and the other is transaction. Uh, just a little on, uh, well, here we're looking at the contact ID, which is the foreign key. And my naming convention, I always like to, for foreign keys, the first column, the first part of the column name is the table name that you're referencing. And the second part is the column that you're referencing on the other table. Um, Create table and uh, statement is uh, in SQL world is called a, a DDL. Uh, it's a data definition language, and SQL statements like select, inserts, updates, deletes are DML types of calls, which are data manipulation languages. So here we can minimize this and talk about this a little more. This line here is part of the um, relationship specification. Here I'm telling you that there's a one-to-many relationship between the contact and transaction table. There's, for example, one contact that can have many transactions. Uh, you cannot have the flip side where one transaction can have many contacts in this design. So again, these tables, as you can see, I'm expanding the database diagram here to say that these tables exist in the customer database. If you would like, you can refer back to the first lesson that goes into how I created this database and where I got the software from to create the database from SQLite website. It's free, it's an open source, and I highly recommend using it for your um, iPhone applications. The performance is excellent. So next, let's have let's do the fun stuff now and. Um, Let's talk about creating a uh, application called customer in Xcode. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Xcode. And um, once within Xcode, we're going to create a new Xcode project. I've decided here we're going to use a tab application, which means that we're going to, uh, it's a template which will provide a starting uh, application with a tab bar and two tab buttons. So you just click next and the name of our application is customer. Again, uh, the class prefix, that's the prefix that you'll see in front of your file names like your app delegates um, and some of the other uh, standard files and this is going to be for an iPhone application and then we create once we pick the folder we want to create it into and you'll see 
right off the bat without doing anything else, it creates a, a basic application. It's a tab bar application with an app delegate. We'll get more into what the role of an app delegate is. But you can see within the app delegate when it uh, finishes launching the application, uh, you can see where we define the two uh, tab buttons for the tab bar. First is the uh, view controller for that's executed from the first tab button. And the next one is the second button which executes the second view controller from the second tab button. Again, the, within the uh, view controllers, you can define your name of your view, which would show up on the tab bar, and also what icon you'd like to show to display within the uh, tab button. And then you you allocate the tab bar to the window, and then you make it visible and uh, return the window back to the user on the phone. So let's execute the application. Without doing anything else, you can see that it you created an app. There's your first button with the image that comes with it by default, a little round button, which you can see uh, here we can again review. It's called first.ping. You can see it over to the left in your left navigation. So and then it gives it the tab name of first. There's your image, all out of the box. You didn't have to do anything but just create an app and um, they pretty much build the template for you and you will use that, you won't modify this template too much for this um, tutorial. And again, there's your second tab button. So before we go any further, I wanna talk a little bit more about what a, a model view controller is, MVC model that um, all applications follow within iOS. So every application has a controller, a model, and a view. The model you can think of is our customer database where we're going to be storing the data. Controller is the view controllers like your first view controller. So in the controller is your view controller and it controls um, your updates to the model and the model notifies the controller upon successful or uh, failure with the updates and it also controls the views. It sends updates for, from the user on what to do with the views and then the view returns back in action. The model should never communicate directly with the view. The controller should be the gatekeeper for communication. Next is the app delegate and its role. So you can see here the app delegate. Let, let's give a scenario for an app delegate and how it works. First the user would tap on the apps icon in the iPhone OS loads your app into memory and whatever else it needs to run your app. At this point the OS has control. The iPhone OS finishes and it launches a procedure with your app and is ready to hand over control to it. The OS calls your app delegates application did finish launching method. From there, uh, your code is now in control, starting with whatever is in the application did finish launching method of your app delegate. User uses the app for a while, then user taps on the home button and quit your app. At that point, your app has now a direct way of knowing when the home button is tapped and the iPhone OS sends an application will terminate message to your app delegate. So you can clean up any open files before the app quits. up the application that sums up the application app delegate I want to thank you again for visiting me please look forward to my next lesson or visit www.kbcappstore.com and also review lesson two to get instructions on how to download my app from github thank you and look forward to talking to you again soon